When you use Riverside to record your video and audio content, you can actually share the recordings from every one of your sessions with someone that doesn't even have a Riverside account. Maybe you have a producer or editor that edits your show or podcast. You can share your recordings with them or even exported versions of your recordings and they can access it without even creating a Riverside account. Oh, and while you're here, don't forget to subscribe to the Riverside channel. We have lots of great content for podcasters, video creators, and a ton more. Log into your Riverside account and then on one of your studios, click view recordings. Here you'll see all of your past recordings. Then in the top right corner, you'll see this link icon. Click that and it will actually copy a URL you can share with others. Keep in mind, whoever you share this link with will be able to access all of your past recordings, not just your latest recording, but every recording inside this particular studio. If you have shows or podcasts that you would like to share those recordings with a different editor or producer, we encourage you to create a new studio or different studio, and then you can invite someone to those recordings. Once someone has that shareable link, they can paste it in their web browser, and they'll be able to access all of your past studio recordings. When they click on a recording, they can download the individual audio and video tracks, and they'll also be able to preview and download any clips or full-length videos that you produced from this recording. Again, using the share link is a great way to share your individual video and audio tracks or full clips with an editor or producer for your show. And when you upgrade to a Riverside Teams account, you get even more permissions options to invite editors and directors to your productions. With a Riverside Teams account inside a production before you jump into an individual studio, you'll see production team here on the left. When you enter the production team, you can actually invite someone via email to become an editor, director, or admin. When you invite an editor to your production, they will have access to all of the recordings across all studios created in this production. So if you have multiple studios, maybe a studio per show, per podcast, across an entire network, an editor can access all of those shows when you invite them to the production here. If you invite a director to your production, a director also has all those same permissions that can access past recordings, download individual tracks and clips, but a director can also enter any studio as a host or producer. This way a director can jump into a recording, help with technical aspects, or be hosting a show at any point. When you invite someone as an admin to your production, they will have all the same permissions I talked about before, plus they will also be able to invite other editors, directors, and admins to the production. So if you're wanting to share all of the recordings for a specific studio to an editor or producer, use that link in the top right corner. And if you want even more flexibility to invite different kinds of roles with different permissions, sign up for a Riverside Teams account, and then you can invite editors, directors, and admins across multiple studios. If you have a question about using Riverside to record your remote content, drop a comment below this video, and also subscribe to the Riverside channel. Hit that bell icon so you don't miss a video. We have lots of content on automating your podcast production using video switchers and post-production techniques, even for fixing bad audio. You can find those videos at the links in the description, or click this video right here from Riverside. It's a really good one. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you next time.